Alright, good evening everyone, this is Jermaine Man Sin, and uh, I guess as you can tell, we're playing some more Pinball FX3, and this time, I'm not here with Royal, I'm f unfortunately, now I don't know what you guys are thinking, where's he at, is he okay? Well, I'll, g I'll give you two answers, he's okay, and, I can't remember what the first question I asked was, but still, he's okay, and I think I think for a while, I've, I've kind of realized that I need to start making more solo content, just to, I don't know, because he kind of brought up a good point one time. Cause he was all like, oh, oh, he didn't even bring it up, but it made me think, are the are the people here for my content, or are they here for for Royal? Maybe, th and I mean, okay, truth be told, if uh, if if your fans really want Royal in a video, um, he'll definitely come back in some form eventually. But if you want, for now, go go check out his channel. Um, I, I've linked it in all my podcast episodes, except for all about stuff, and I and I think I've linked it in most of my other videos. Yeah, um, so he's fine. I'm just not. I'm just, I'm just not going to continue. Um, and I don't know. I'm not going to continue pinball series with him. But he will appear again eventually. Either you'll see you'll see him in my video, or I'll or or you'll see you'll see me in his video. Either way, we're both fine. We're still friends. It's just I need to start making more solo content. Anyway, we're back on Pinball FX3, and this time, okay, let me just set something straight with these tables. Yeah, as you can see, I'm picking Portal. Um, I'm not going to play every single one of them, not only due to the high volume of tables that exist, but also another big reason is because of the fact... Let me breathe, let me breathe. It's because of the fact that, um, really, I, I don't think all these tables could, could hold, like, 15 minutes of content for all of them. Like all ten of them, so that can't happen. So I guess until we're only playing uh, three tables for right now in terms of parts. Uh, there's gonna be three parts. This is this is part two. Where we're gonna be playing the portal pinball table, and then the last one is gonna be a secret. No one really know what the next table is, but it'll be a surprise. Anyway, let's jump right into portal pinball. All right. Hope you guys heard that. If you didn't, that's fine. All right, let's jump in. Now, it's funny with Portal. I mean, I didn't just pick a table because it's also really good, but let me just tell you guys, I love Portal 2. I know I've, I've proclaimed it, like, so much, but, like, I, I, I gotta scream it out to the world. Portal 2 is the best game ever made. Like, literally. There is, I don't think there, there are many games that come close to being like it. I mean, of course... Uh, if you guys have seen my backlog page, or or if you guys have watched some of my earlier videos, um, you guys would know that, that Portal is in my top five, and my top five, at least right now, consists of Portal 2, Postal 2, Left 4 Dead 2, um, and no po Postal 2, and no more Postal 2, and no more Heroes. All of those are perfect games. Nothing short of them. Ah, oh, that was that was bad. That was bad for me. I, didn't pay attention. Yeah, I don't know what it is about Portal 2 that seems so much better than Portal 1. It's just like better than any other game. It's it's, I, I, it's one of the, it's one of the many games where I was where I had a face centered around it when I was young. Like when I was 10, I actually had a Portal 2 themed birthday party. Now, if that doesn't scream, I like Portal 2. I don't know what does. To be honest, uh, yeah, Portal 2 best game of all time. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, actually, no, I won't leave it at that. I'll give you a few more details. The game has this weird aesthetic to it, but it's also a good aesthetic. It's like a futuristic thing. It feels, it makes everything feel kind of like squeaky clean, you know, if you catch my drift. You know? It's like, but even then, if it does, if it already satisfy you one aesthetic, it has, like, I think, like, three or four of them. Because there's, like, separate eras in terms of chapters. Uh, spoilers, spoilers for Portal 2 a bit. So skip ahead if you don't want to hear those, or or not. I don't know. Um, let's see. At first, there's like there's like the overgrown, uh, set, the overgrown era of chapters. Then, then there's like then there's clean. Then there's behind the scenes, uh, old aperture, and then finally we go back to clean. Or mostly it's at the Wheatley era, but in, ter in terms of aesthetics, it's those four or five. But yeah. Um, it's funny actually because I feel like the games that really get close to me, my favorite games of all time, are either Portal 2 or Left 4 Dead 2. 
Both of those, I have really nostalgic memories for. Like, but especially Left 4 Dead 2, because Left 4 Dead, the first one, was the first ever video game I ever played. Literally. I, I can't think of another game that comes close to being like that. May, maybe Saints Row 4, but I'm not sure if that was the first ever game I ever played. Probably not. But I, I I need statistics to back that up. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, best game of all time. Nothing much else to say. Um, now what you're asking about the content. Well, well, what's changed in the course of a month? I'll tell you. I've gotten into a big fandom. I watched a watched a special indie uh, 2001 psychological horror slash uh, sci-fi movie. If you guys have heard of it, it's Donnie Darko. If you guys don't know, Donnie Darko is like this big tale ab about this boy. This like teenage this teenage boy named Donnie. And basically, um, he sees visions of a rabbit named Frank that tells him the world is going to end in 28 days, 6 hours, 42 minutes, and 12 seconds. So, he follows Frank's orders to, I, I assume, stop the world from ending. And basically, he tries to make the most of everything, stuff like that. I don't know. It's a really hard movie to explain because there could be several definitions for the plot. To be honest, it's a very abstract movie. And okay, if you guys if, if you guys watch it, it's on YouTube actually. It's under the name Darko Boy. If you guys watch it, I mean, I don't blame you guys if you don't know what's happening. I really don't blame you guys. It is an extremely confusing movie, and the plot need always needs like a 48 minute explanation or for people to understand it. Wow, that was crappy. But yeah, that's, that's a big fandom I've been in so far. The the weird thing about Donnie Darko is that there are moments where it almost made me cry. Because, like, sometimes there were scenes where, like, Donnie showed physical, like, mental pain through everything he's gone through. He's almost like the victim in this movie. Which he kind of is, really. He's being haunted by this rabbit, telling him a bunch of scary... Ah, oh, this is going to be a crap run. Uh, he's, he's, like, Frank's telling him all these, all these scary things, and no one, no one can really help him. I remember in the movie theater scene, minor spoilers, uh, whenever Frank meets with Donnie in the movie theater, um, uh, whenever he talks to him, he's talking to him, and he's all, and he's all, like, like, the, he's talking about burning down a house, spoilers, major spoilers, and, and, and whenever, and one of the big questions that Donnie doesn't get doesn't get answers from Frank for one of the questions was uh, when is this all gonna end or something like that and that's just so sad because because when he says stuff like that it sounds like he's about to cry because he's just he's sick of trying to he's sick of the this happening and he like he, and he's almost brought down to tears he's like in mental anguish and he's like when is this all gonna end I want this to end I don't I like it's just so sad because there, there are points where you I'm sure Donnie couldn't even tell if Frank was a figment of his, uh, of his, like, what do you call it, his schizophrenia, or if he's real and he's standing right in front of him. The general consensus for, for Donnie Dark, for Frank and Donnie Darko is, he's real, but he's, yeah, he's real, but, like, something, something weird's going on with him, he's, like, He's, I don't know, I can't spoil anything because I don't want to spoil it too much, but j just watch the movie. There will be a, near the end, there's going to be a big reveal about who Frank really is. Because Frank has an identity in some capacity. Do not mistake, do not mistake, make him. He has, he has a big identity, you know. There's a, yeah, um, yeah, that's all I really have to say about Donnie Darko. It's a really good film. In fact, I even I, I it was one of the few films that actually made my top four on Letterboxd. Uh, it's funny with my top four on Letterboxd. I remember for a while my top four I think was okay. Phineas and Ferb Cross Second Dimension was always there. I love that movie. I'm ashamed to say it's my favorite movie of all time, but it kind of is. Um, let's see. I'm on top four. I had Phineas and Ferb Cross Second Dimension, Toy Story 2, Reanimator. And then I had, uh, I can't remember what the other one was, but I know for sure Donnie Darko wasn't there until just recently, not just recently, but like last month or last few weeks, he's like, he's been chilling there. Uh, I think right now my top four, I'm not sure if I count 12 ounce mouse because it's a show, but it's in my top four, so it still counts. Um, my top four is Phineas and Perfect Cross Second Dimension, Donnie Darko, 12 ounce mouse, 
and uh, I, th I think the last one is um, Ted. Yeah, Ted's in there too. I have a lot of good movie, a lot of good memories with Ted. It's, I mean, it's it's in my top four for a reason. I have a lot of nostalgia with Ted. I remember, I remember it was like it was like a yearly movie that I watched with my family. It was just so good. I don't know why the comedy is spot on, and it's funny because because I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. I remember a lot of people I think would say they hate this movie a little bit, even this, especially the sequel. But I still think the sequel's perfect. But they would say it's bad because I mean, to be honest, let's be honest with ourselves. Ted is like Family Guy the movie, but with a disguise. And that's that's the argument people will make. But to be honest, I don't hate New Family Guy. New Family Guy's fine. It's not like I'm gonna kill myself because of New Family Guy. It's not that bad. It's not. It's not like I'm watching Little Bite in the Big City or whatever that movie was that was made by Russians that sucked anus hole. Uh, excuse the language, but I just had to make sure you guys knew that little bite in the big city just blew huge loads. That that sounded very sexual. Alright, one more round. But yeah, I think other things that have been new with me. Um, I think... Uh, I don't know why, but I've discovered this new obsession of mine. For some reason, I think after my sister has owned one for the longest time, I legitimately want to get want to get like a uh, like an ice chest at some point. If you guys remember what those, oh, of course you guys remember what those are. I'm such an idiot. Um, but yeah, because I because I saw her bring it to parties and like family reunion stuff. She she'd put like drinks in. It. I thought, huh, maybe I could use that to bring it like six or twelve packs of like Dr Pepper or they go cola in there. That's that's one of the main reasons why I want to get it. Not only that, but a little backstory. She got she got like a bunch of King of the Hill stickers from Team U. If any, any of you guys remember that from TikTok for some reason. Um, basically, it's like it's like a it's like an online shopping thing. It kind of reminds me of Redbubble a bit. I'm not sure if it's I'm not sure if it's similar, but it kind of is. Uh, that's, 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 at least that's what I think. But yeah, basically, um, I don't know what it is. It's like. Uh, I'm getting off track. I'm about to go freaking full uh, ADHD mode. But yeah, um, I, I saw her get those stickers, and, and she put them on on her on her like ice chest. And, and then I think a, a few weeks later, I realized she has she has stickers on every on, all over her ice chest. Oh, sorry, it's my dog's barking in the background. Excuse ma. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, I, I actually want to get an ice chest at some point just so I can bring drinks to like. Like bring Dr. Pepper and stuff like that to uh, to parties and stuff. Not sure if you can call them parties. I'm more like family reunions, but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, because I because I know for sure those King of the Hill stickers. I would love to put them on there. And the thing that really surprised me about those stickers is that there's actually a sticker that 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 was bunched together with it. And there's actually a sticker that that shows Hank Hill, but he's Joker from Persona 5. And and I, I was just shocked. I was like I was like so so really like. Like that was that was the last thing I expected from from like from like a from the King of the Hill style media is for a freaking Joker from Persona 5 to be in there. I don't know why my dogs are barking. But yeah, it's a general consensus. That's that's the big thing I'm really wanting to get. Cause I mean she, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is with 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 my sister and her ice chest. She just loves it to death. Uh, I guess it kind of makes sense. Cause I can't. To be honest, those ice chests kind of remind me of. Of fishing, and I'm not gonna lie. If 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 someone in my family was as big into fishing, uh, like if someone if someone in my family was like big into fishing, like the biggest, besides my dad, it would be my sister. You know. And she she said multiple times she was like, man, I could I could take you fishing one day, man. She never has, but I can assure you in the future it'll happen and it'll be glorious. You know. Not what I know about fishing. I don't know beans, but um, I should have to learn. This is the end, in it? Yeah. But yeah. Uh, that should be that should be it with the commentary for right now. Uh, yeah, I've, I've had a I've had a long history of trying to record this. I I've, I I start I the first recording of this was like one or two months ago, and then I stopped because I I had to re-record it like eight times so far, because it kept on like. Like I kept on pressing this button right here, the, the the hyphen button, and the hyphen button is the stop recording button. So I'd constantly type in my high score, and it'd be like, oh, you mean oh hyphen, 
his face sin you know no we can't do that we're gonna stop the recording that's what they did because that's what the button means and i got real mad said i didn't know that was a problem until i realized oh my god i'm an idiot but yeah that should be about it for the recording for uh ho hopefully i'll see you guys sooner than sooner uh because i'm sorry about not recording for like a month that that's that's my fault i'm kind of a couch potato that's the best way to put it uh I'll try to make more content. Uh, may, may even may even bring back some old series like playing Gmod or Left 4 Dead Solo. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.